Mmm. Wow. My kids are gonna love this. I am going to name it the Quixotter. Because we're at Quixote Studios and it feels quixotic to me. Tilting at windmills and swirling. Uh... I mean, it's kind of amazing. It's a bit like um, a jellyfish, isn't it? Is it a cephalopod? Is that what I mean? The Quixotter. It's quite mesmerizing, isn't it? The first time I remember walking on stage was Winthrop in The Music Man, oh. and I was maybe seven or eight. I think I played the hell out of a lisp, yeah. I love that. that. I loved to sing. When I was young, I loved to sing, and I was in plays forever, starting from when I was four or five. I don't have that freedom in life, but I've always had it in this, what's now become my work, but when I was young, you enter uh -huh. into a space where you get to transcend the social uh, realities. There's a weightlessness and, and uh, a freedom and a joy, yeah, that so I still have. It's just been the only thing I've ever done uh -huh. because it can also be a curse or a burden. It's great to have a singularity of purpose and a singularity of wanting, but I never bummed around backpacking or you know any of that, I always just, it's been a, a sort of obsession, but it, it's, it's also <laughs> taken me uh, into all these lives that you get to explore and, and, and experience, in a way, the extremities of, of human experience by being a vessel for these characters. There's something that I love that he says in Hamlet, that use can almost change the stamp of nature, and changing the stamp of your nature is the hope. Fashion. <laughs> It's pretty cool that you just called me a genius at fashion, but it is a passion. Well, I mean, I pick out all the wardrobe and I live in it really when we're making. I mean, I came here dressed in Kendall's clothes today because we're shooting now. <laughs> the clothes maketh the man and I think aesthetic is so personal when we're uh, bombarded with so much noise. This is a designer named Hans Nicholas Mott and you know, everything is hand stitched and everything is done with great care and precision and, and soul. And I guess precision and soul are, are things that uh, I look for in acting and in everything. I just watched The Fablemans and I cried my eyes out. Remains of the Day is a movie that makes oh, me cry. But I think, you know, for me, Coming Home, the scene at the end of Coming Home, mm. the scene with his father in Five Easy Pieces when he's kneeling mm. on the ground, Kramer versus Kramer makes me cry. Most work that Dustin Hoffman does makes me cry. Nice. I'm moved pretty, pretty easily. I'm a Capricorn. I'm like a triple Capricorn and every rising and everything is a Capricorn. Cap I don't know this stuff, but, and it turns out to be true. Um, willful and tenacious <laughs> and studious. My primal astrological animal is a salmon, which is essentially an animal that swims in one direction for its whole life and gets shredded by the river and the rocks and reaches its one lone destination and then and and comes to fruition and dies. Very dramatic. Capricorn. <laughs> There's a great question of if you could come back as a person, place, or a thing, what would you come back as? Yeah, well, my answer, I was torn between a hummingbird and a moat of dust in, an, in a used bookstore. It's a tie, it's a tie. No, maybe I'm gonna change it and be a wave. I like that a wave is a shapeshifter. So let's, let's just be, a, I'm just gonna be a wave.